hello everybody welcome or and or welcome back to my channel it is your girl jay ross back with another video getting ready to go to church it is sunday morning so i am going to probably be a little bit late but i want to get a video i'm feeling good i'm feeling really really good I have a cute little outfit planned out for today got most of it on um and i want to do a makeup look to follow um so with this i am going to be using a bag of stuff that I have some new some old um, some that I just bought but they're like older items the main first impression that I'm going to be doing in this video is going to be the beyond perfecting foundation and concealer from Clinique and I do have the shade in 28 which is the darkest shade um, that I will get into more at the end of this video about how I feel about it things like that but I'm just gonna go ahead and get into this look because like I said, your girl has to go to church. So let me go ahead and get it ready. So first I'm gonna start off with a Smashbox Travel Primer Set. And I'm going to start off with the Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Foundation Primer. And I'm just applying that where my pores are like the biggest and like need to be filled in more. Then I'm going to take the original Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Mind you, all three of these primers are oil-free, so I'm just going to apply that over the rest of my face. Next, I'm going to take the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. It's already damp. I dampened it up. And then I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade of 35 Deep. And I'm just going to pat that in my skin to kind of like set my primer even more. This technique has been used by Jackie Ina for like ages. And I don't know who thought that they just recreated it like a couple months ago to set a trend. Jackie's been doing it since like 2000 and forever. Next, I'm going to grab the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer in the shade 28 Clove. This is for dry combination to oily combination skin and this one does have neutral undertones as you see the tip can be used for both concealing and foundation but i didn't grab the shade light enough for my concealer so i'm gonna use this foundation and i'm just making random marks all over my face no organization at all next i'm gonna blend that in with the ultimate blending brush from elf Just gonna stipple that into my skin, blending it out, blending it real good. Next, I'm gonna take my Fiona Styles Light Illusion Perfecting and Brightening Stylo as my concealer in the shade Tan. Remember when I first used it, I clicked it too much and nothing came out and then I accidentally clicked it as I closed it and a little bit squirted it out. Just going to take the flat edge of the Miracle Complexion sponge, blend in my concealer. Didn't really like how it did so I just flipped back over to the pointed tip. I do want to add just a little side note as I was letting my concealer set in for a little bit under my eyes, I did my brows off camera. I am terrible at brows so there was no point for you guys to see what I did. Going back to the bags for my eyeshadow palette which is going to be the Maybelline Expert Wear and the color of the palette is called Emerald Smokes. And then to give it a little kick at the end I used the Makeup Revolution Redemption palette and just patted that gold shimmery shade onto my eyelid. Next, I'm going to take the NYX Professional Powder Brush, which is the number two brush. Once again, don't know why I thought you guys could see that. I'm just going to sweep away the excess powder under my eyes. I realized that I just literally just unwrapped all these things and just started using them. Didn't even wash any of them. <laughs> and next, I'm going to take the Maybelline's Falsies Mascara and just literally create a Falsies look for my lashes that are barely there in the first place. Just sweeping that Maybelline Fit Me powder all over my face and then I'm setting it with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. 
Then I was trying to decide which color lip I should do. Should I do a nude or a dark? And I was like, ah, eh, I always go with nude, so let's do a dark one this time. I'm going to use the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on the lip pencil in the shade Perversion. Just lining my lips. And then I'm going to gloss it up with the Urban Decay Revolution High Color Lip Gloss in the shade of Apocalypse. I clearly have nothing to do with my life so I just dance and realize that I have makeup on my teeth and so there you have it. So this is how my look turned out. I had to get finished getting dressed and ready to go for church so this is just a picture of it. Hope you guys like it. My overall thoughts for this, these items that I did try out today. Um, the Realty Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge, I really do like it. I can't compare it to the Beauty Blender. I've never tried the Beauty Blender before, so I'm not even gonna be like, oh, it's better, oh, it's not better. Um, I really do like how I press the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder in. I love it. I love that shade as well. I think it, at first I thought it was gonna make my skin look ashy. At first I thought it was like, oh, it's too, it's too light for me but it actually did melt into my skin very well um, and actually kept my face pretty pretty matte. only thing that's really shiny is my nose and I did not put new powder on my nose. The Smashbox primer set, I did use all three primers that came in the box. Only thing about the photo finish prime minim minimizing one is I, since it came in a purple tube, I thought that it was going to come out purple um, or lavender and it actually didn't came out as like a tan kind of a golden color, which was fine because I have a golden on tones anyway, so it's like, oh, okay. The e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush, I really did like it. It's not as dense as the Real Technique Brush, which is very good, it's very soft. It blended my foundation very well, I think, in my personal eyes. Let me know what you guys think. If you don't see any in your stores, check, out it, check it out online. If you see any stores, grab it. I think it's really worth it. And last but not least, the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer in the shade 28 Clove. It is the darkest shade that I could find. I really like it. I really like the application. And overall, I like this look. And this look was inspired by the Jackie Ina. No, I did not try to get exactly how she did it, and I did not use the products that she used, as I do not know what products she used. Her beauty favorites for under $25. I think that's what the name of the video was called. So she did not actually give a tutorial on the look, but I really liked it. I really like her looks in general anyway. She kind of gives me different ideas. I usually do a nude look with basically anything that I wear. No matter what kind of different eye look I do, I always do a nude lip. So I wanted to do something different today, and so I did. Probably should blot on my nose, but other than that, I am pretty happy. I really love the look. Please check out other videos, and if you guys have any suggestions on what I should try next, please let me know that in the comments below. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys had a great Veterans Weekend, and I will catch you guys in my next one. Peace.